Hey friends, so if you're thinking of joining for the course next week, I wanted to give you just a sneak peek into what I'm covering and do a little mini, like three minute PD. So when it comes to students trying to pick a topic, first of all, I tell them to not look at the Common App prompts because I feel like that gets them into sort of what they want thinking. And I sort of say it's like if you were trying to get dressed in the morning and you tried to survey everyone and you tried to imagine what would everyone like, then it would drive you crazy. You just need to pick the shirt that you want to wear. And that's what I think great brainstorming exercises get students to figure out is like, well, what do I want? What do I have to say? What's going to help me show my skills, qualities, values, or interests in the most dynamic way? And my goal with brainstorming is to get students to come up with a wide range of topics. And there are a few ways that I do that, which I'll share in just a minute. But I feel like students need to think about in terms of, let's say, a, a montage essay, which is an essay that's not about challenges. I feel like what we're looking for is a topic that's on the one hand elastic, which is to say stretchy enough to talk about different sides of themselves, but also ideally somewhat uncommon. And I'll talk on the course about, I'll just give a big list of common topics and why I think they're uh, not a great idea for the personal statement. I don't have time to go into it right now. But when it comes to montage topics, what I found after going through about 300 essays is there are seven different montage paths that I find successful essays tend to take, not always, but tend to take. The first one is students writing about something that they love or know a lot about. It could be anything from games to rocks to plants to history. The second is when students write about a skill or a superpower. It could be anything from listening to beatboxing and how that connects to different sides of them. The third one is what I call the essence objects. Uh, montage path, which if you've seen the essence objects exercise, it's like, how do I choose a few different objects, connect them to different sides of myself? That can create your essay. The fourth is what I call the career path, which is, as it sounds, why, you know, what are the moments, experiences that have led you to a particular career? The fifth is one of my favorites now, it's the identities path. So it's like, what's I one identity or some several identities, and how does each one of those show a different side of you? The sixth one is what I call the home path. What's one place or several places where you really find flow? And if you do several, each one can show a different side of you. And the seventh one is what I call the uncommon extracurricular path. Not the common extracurricular, but the uncommon extracurricular activity path. And I've developed exercises for leading students to find topics in each of those seven paths. And I'll walk you through different examples for each of those. Now, I've split the course this year into two different cohorts. One is the one-on-one -on -one cohort. For those of you who work individually with students, I'll walk you through all the brainstorming exercises that I share with students prior to their meeting with me. And there are five different ones, and I think that they're really important. And it you know, generates some pretty awesome content for that first, I like to do 90 minutes in that initial session. But if you're a counselor who works in a medium to large caseload, it's a different ballgame. And what we're trying to figure out is what can I give my students in a you know, 20 or 30 minute time chunk, probably over Zoom, right, virtually, and how do I get them to generate those ideas? And then how do I help them pick? Maybe with a writing partner. One of the things that I really am an advocate for is you know, peer advising. So we'll talk in the groups course about how do you set up your virtual Zoom classes? How do you help students pick topics on their own or with a writing peer? Or how do you engage the help of you know, other folks in your department? or your English department and work really efficiently and effectively. And if you work in a CBO or you work in a public school setting and you just don't have budget for this, don't worry, the course is pay what you can. I really wanna emphasize that. There's no financial barrier for you. I've tried to make this accessible, so if you can show up for the live sessions, awesome. If you can't, don't worry, you'll get recordings. I'm covering every part of the process from brainstorming to revising to refining and all the things in between. I hope to see you there.